In this video, we are going to remind ourselves how to add and subtract fractions. So I've got a nice little grid here. And if you will notice, this grid has 12 equal squares. Okay. So these 12 squares make up my whole rectangle. All right. There's one rectangle made up of 12 equal squares. Okay. So having said that, let's look at this. Let's say I take five of my squares. So five out of the 12 plus three. So it should be relatively easy for you to look at this and go, oh, that's 8 out of 12, right? Because I've got 8 shaded. Because these have a common denominator, I know that I've got 5 and 3, which is 8 twelfths. So the key you have to remember when you're adding and subtracting fractions, you must have a common denominator. Now, if you don't have a common denominator, you've got to get one. Okay, how does that work? Well, this is how it works. Let's say I've got four fifths plus three fourths. So I could draw you a grid, right? I could draw something that has five equal pieces and I know I've got four of them. And I could draw you a separate picture with four equal pieces, three of which I have out of those. But since five and four are not the same, those pieces, those that four and that three in the numerator are not gonna be the same. So I have to basically change the denominators so that they would be the same measure. That means I have to get a least common denominator or a lowest common denominator. Okay, so I have to get a lowest common denominator. In other words, I want these two values to look the same. Well, the easiest way to figure out what the LCD is when I have a number that's odd and a number that's even, multiply them together. 5 times 4 is 20. There's not a smaller number that they are both a factor of. So you have to change this denominator to 20 and this denominator to 20. How are you going to do that? Well, we have to take 4 fifths and we have to multiply it by something. Okay, now this is where things get tricky with adding and subtracting fractions because a lot of students just want to multiply the denominator by four to give us 20. Well, we can't do that because that would change the value of it, all right? Because if I just do this, that gives me four over 20. That is not equivalent to four over five. Let me show you how I know this. Because when I reduce this, okay, I get one fifth. Okay, that is not the same as four fifths. So something has gone horribly wrong. So let's look at this. Okay, I know I need a denominator of 20, so I know I'm gonna have to do this. But whatever I do to the, to the denominator, I'm gonna also have to do to the numerator. So I'm going to have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by four. Let me explain to you why this is true. All right, isn't four over four the same thing as one, right? Four over four is one. If I multiply four over fifths by one, is it going to change the value? No, because any number times one is that number. So I can multiply any number I want by any form of one that I want. Let me show you how insane this is. Let's say I have two sevenths. I can multiply it by 365 over 365, and it will not change the value. It will only change what it looks like. 
because 365 over 365 is 1. All right? It's very important that you understand that. Okay, so I chose 4 over 4 because I know I need a 20 down here. That's why I chose 4. Notice I started with my denominator. I was like, okay, my LCD is 20. What do I have to do to the 5 to make it look like a 20? I have to multiply it by 4. If I have to multiply it by 4, I have to multiply the numerator by 4 as well. So I take 4 fifths and I'm going to multiply it by 4 over 4. Then I have to take this 3 fourths and I have to do the same thing to it, but this time I have to multiply it by 5 over 5 because I want a 20 down here. Now notice what happens. I get a 16 over a 20 and a 15 over a 20. All right? Now, these denominators are the same. So now, I can add these, add the numerators together. The denominator is going to stay 20. My numerators get added together, and I have a 31. Okay? 31 over 20. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Works the same way with subtraction. Let's say I had had 2 thirds minus 7 eighths. All right, okay, so I need an LCD. It has to consist of a three and an eight. So three times eight is 24. So that's the smallest number that they will both go into. So for two thirds, I've got to multiply by eight over eight, seven eighths. I've got to multiply by three over three. See, because that'll give me a 24. In both of those, 2 times 8 is 16, 7 times 3 is 21. That gives me a negative 5 24ths. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy.